all right welcome back to the channel crypto trend trader and today we're doing a little bit of technical slash fundamental breakdown remember this video is not financial advice i'm not your financial advisor these markets are extremely volatile so please do your own research and trade responsibly today we're going to be taking a look at harley davidson just kidding so today we're going to be taking a look at home depot so just get started we'll take a quick look at the technical setups and then we'll talk fundamentals because that's what this video is about so here we can see we broke down below the 200 moving averages and entered into a bear correction and now we have reclaimed those levels we're back on top and they both have a positive slope so technically home depot is back in a bull market and while i'm not completely convinced technically the trend is bullish so we had this sort of w basing pattern right here and now we have broken through the neckline and we're essentially just sitting on top of that level so as long as we're essentially above the 200 moving averages we should continue to just slowly grind up and get pushed forward by those moving averages. But if we do break down below them, essentially under $300, and it looks like the attempt to flip the trend back bullish again will have been a failure. So if we're back below 300, it looks bad. If we're above 312 like we are now, it still looks good. That being said, depending on the time frame that you look at, it's not necessarily amazing. If we jump out to the weekly time frame, we could see essentially this thing is in a very powerful uptrend. It has consistently stayed above the 200 moving averages with the exception of the attempt to test them in 2018 and then again on the Rona dump. Prior to that, the last time we touched a 200 exponential and simple was back in 2011. So it's a very strong trend and we would expect the 200s to continue acting on support. Now here we are at the top and we basically double tested that and that's the bottom of our W. So a very strong support. We came up here and that's again the neckline of the w and we're essentially just holding on to that level for now so we see the 200 simple is getting ready to cross above the 200 exponential oftentimes we can still get a push to the upside and even a new all-time high but it means that the strength of the trend is waning here on the weekly we see we had the red slope line on the td macd and we have reclaimed that slope line and flipped it back blue while we see some weakness on the histogram according to the td macd we are still technically bullish from here now we do see a hard sell on the weekly from the stochastics crossing down here so again it's worth paying attention to and it seems more likely than not that this actually wants to test the downside and potentially put in a higher low before going higher so that being said all of that we're going to take into account but realistically that's just the technicals we actually want to focus on the fundamentals all right so here we are back on the daily so if we just pop up our earnings and revenue tab right here we can see that the date is tuesday the 21st of february 2023 so the 21st of february is the date we're paying attention to so we still have some time before then today is february 8th so we have about two weeks till earnings in the meantime this could easily oscillate up or down but let's see if we can take a look and get an idea as to what to expect here see what is kind of already priced in and could we potentially gain an edge obviously when we're using technicals we use those technicals to gain an edge on the market and take higher risk reward trade setups with probability of success and position sizing we're able to essentially calculate our wins and losses consistently with fundamentals what we're looking for is basically some kind of driver in this case we're looking at the fundamentals of the earnings so obviously if home depot underperforms what the market thinks they are likely to go down and if home depot overperforms what the market has priced in already they're likely to go up and we've seen the recent moves of 10 and 20 percent just on the earnings call so we're going to focus first on the quarterly here so we have q1 2022 revenue is 38.91 billion net income is 4.23 billion profit margin 10.87 percent and then q2 of 2022 revenue 43.79 billion net income of 5.17 billion and profit margin of 11.81 billion and then finally we see q3 2022 revenue 38.87 billion net income of 4.34 billion and profit margin of 11.16 percent and now we're actually going to jump back and we're going to look at the q4 2021 and essentially see what if we get similar results to q4 of 2021 in q4 of 2022 the earnings that's about to get reported so in q4 of 2021 it was 35.72 billion 3.35 billion net income and a profit margin of 9.38 percent so fairly in line with the numbers that we actually have for q1 2 and 3 of 2022 so next we're just going to jump down here and take a look at the estimated earnings and see what the market is pricing in 
And then in revenue, the estimate for Q4 2022 is 36 billion. So if we just look back at their revenue from Q4 2021, it's about 36 billion, 39 billion, 44 billion, and 39 billion. So it seems like those are pretty reasonable numbers to estimate. So now if we just go over to the annual tab on the income statement, we can see in 2021, the revenue total was 151.16 billion, net income was 16.43 billion, and profit margin was 10.87 billion. And if we just compare that year over year, we see roughly about a 10% profit margin going back from 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. So it seems likely that the profit margin would stay somewhere around that level, obviously give or take. And then net income wise, we see 16 billion here. Prior to that was about 13. Prior to that was about 11, 11, you know, and then just kind of going back nine in 2017. So again, we would expect something in between like 11 and maybe 17 or something like that. So if we just flip back over to the quarterly now, I went ahead and added up Q1, Q2, and Q3. And we are currently at 121.57 billion in revenue. 13.74 billion in net income and 11.28% profit margin. So that is just average out the profit margin. So if we take the estimated 36 billion that analysts are expecting for Q4 of 2022, the earnings is about to be reported, it comes out to roughly $4 billion in profits. And that is using the average profit percent of roughly 11.28. So if we just take our totaled up revenue for Q1, 2, and 3, and then we just estimate out the total for Q4, we're going to come out to 157.57, and that would give us the entire year. And that is based off the $36 billion estimate from analysts, which seems to be in line with what you would expect. And that's going to give us $13.74 billion for Q1, 2, and 3. And then if we just take the $4.06 billion estimated, which seems to be in line with what you would expect, we're going to come out to $17.8 billion in net income estimated. And that will give us roughly that 11.3% profit margin, which is right in line with what we would expect. So if we just flip back over to the annual and then we just compare those numbers to 2021, our estimated total revenue is going to come out to $157.57 billion. The estimated net income is going to come out to 17.8 billion. And then our profit margin percent would come out to roughly 11.3 for the year. So even if it undershoots slightly, the numbers are actually still going to look really good. We'll see a year over year increase in revenue. We will see a year over year increase in net income. And the profit margin would be roughly around the same or slightly higher than it was in 2021. So considering right now that Home Depot is trading at a 19.6 times of the uh, trailing 12 months price to earnings ratio, it's a little more expensive than the rest of the market, but honestly in line. And the basic earnings per share are 16.65 over the trailing 12 months. And if we compare the Q4 2021 actual and estimate of 3.18 and 3.21 actual to what they're expecting for Q4, with an estimate of 3.28. And based on my calculations and estimates, we're likely to come in slightly above 3.28. So we're already at 12.76 for the first three quarters. So with the estimates, that's going to come in at roughly 16.03, which is slightly below the trailing 12 months basic earnings per share. I do think that we're actually going to overshoot that slightly. But I think more importantly than not, the thing that we need to focus on for Home Depot's numbers is the majority of companies guided down over the last like quarters or years and many companies valuations have come down substantially over that amount of time but the fact that they're guiding down year over year definitely says something about what they're expecting now the fact that we see home depot has not really guided down and actually is still seeing earnings growth not so much quarter over quarter but at least year over year the market may be underpricing this stock currently so to sort of sum up what we've been talking about here. So in my opinion, the most important thing that we should be paying attention to is these numbers here from 2021 and just looking to beat those numbers. And what is the probability or possibility of that happening? So if the revenue is coming in at 151 billion in 2021, and we're currently at 121.57 billion for Q1, 2, and 3 total. So essentially we need to see a 30 billion print on the Q4 revenue. And as far as net income is concerned, 
The 2021 net income was $16.43 billion, and we are currently for Q1, 2, and 3 at $13.74 billion. So we only need net income to come in at about $2.67 billion just to beat that 2021 year. And again, 2021 profit margin was about 10.87, and our current profit margin for 2022 is 11.28. So even if it substantially undershoots for the final quarter on profit margin, it's likely to average out right around that 10.87 level. So for what I'm looking at right here, it seems very likely that Home Depot is getting ready to beat on everything. And considering the majority of companies currently in the stock market are consistently guiding down and seeing weak numbers quarter over quarter and year over year, and Home Depot is actually still growing its company and still protecting its profit margins, honestly, this looks really good to me right now on the fundamental basis. So with technicals, we always talk about having an edge or advantage on the market, and that gives us a higher probability of success when we take a trade. In this case, fundamentals, normally we don't have any kind of insider information or anything like that, but just a little bit of work and a dive into Home Depot's financials, and honestly, I think we found something, a little edge over the market. So obviously, price action can vary quite a bit over the next couple of weeks, and into earnings itself and then we don't know what exactly is going to get reported but i think this gives us a pretty good idea what to expect and honestly i think home depot is going to do well a lot of companies are not only guiding down right now but they're also missing as well and the market has been fairly forgiving so i think if home depot comes out and essentially just puts out some average looking numbers they're going to exceed expectations they're going to exceed the year over year numbers and honestly they're going to close out a really nice year Considering everything that's been taking place in the economy right now and the stock market as well, I think Home Depot is a diamond in the rough. You'd be hard pressed to find many other companies that are beating on not only earnings, revenue, net income, profitability, etc. And then on top of that, even if they are beating the expectations, it's only because they've guided down or the analysts have set the bar very low. With Home Depot, I just don't think that's the case. We can look at the numbers, we can look at the financials and break it down. And when it's all said and done, I think Home Depot is an amazing opportunity. So that being said, when we combine the fundamentals and the technicals together, we are sort of getting like a mixed bag here. Uh, the fact that we are starting to build up some positive momentum, but essentially just hanging out around support isn't necessarily the ideal situation. But again, I would much rather be holding on to support than consolidating below it. So if we just take our drawing tool and essentially just draw in this W pattern that we're currently forming, we can see pretty clear support there. And we know that's the weekly moving average. And then we can see pretty clear resistance here as well. And now we have fallen slightly below that resistance. But if we do get the measure move breakout of this pattern, essentially all it is is the move from the bottom of the pattern back up to the neckline and then extend it out the top. So in this case, the measure move would take us back up to the internal retracement of the 886 if we fib from the macro high right here, the all-time high, down to our recent low. So more likely than not, we would see at least a push up to the 786, if not the full extension up to the 886. And even if we were looking at the breakout as our entry point, that would give us roughly 22.36% upside with a 7.5% downside if we break below the 200 simple. And actually, based on the current price action right now, we could actually get a slightly lower entry point, uh, which would give us about a 4 to 1 risk reward ratio, a 25% upside, and a 6% stop loss. Now, we could extend out the stop loss slightly if we broke below the 236. It would invalidate. Even then, we would still have over 3 to 1 risk reward ratio. And honestly, when we're above the 200 exponential and 200 simple, and they both have a positive slope, we're technically longing trading with the trend. So we only need a two to one risk reward ratio for our system. So that being said, there's definitely some possibilities for this trade setup to fail. There is definitely possibilities that the technicals and fundamentals don't necessarily line up in this situation. If the whole entire market starts to just sell off violently, we could expect the same from Home Depot as obviously it's very correlated to the remainder of their market. But that being said, the actual earnings and everything, we can see just kind of looking back here, Home Depot consistently beats earnings. It has beat the last earnings for essentially the last couple of years every single time. So the probability it's going to beat again is very high, especially when we look at these numbers that we broke down during the fundamentals. So is there an amazing opportunity presenting itself right here in the form of Home Depot? Maybe.
you'll have to decide for yourself. But I thought I would bring it up to you guys and present this potential opportunity as this could be a quick little move, a nice little 15, 20, or even 25% in a matter of days. So we're always talking about finding edges in the market. And in this case, I think we found a little edge based on earnings. So remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. These markets are extremely volatile. So please do your own research and trade responsibly. All right. Just wanted to talk about Home Depot before the uh, earnings. See ya.